Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a rock and roll fierce eyeliner uh, red eyebrows look. Let's get started with putting some tape on the outer corners of the eyes so that when I do the eyeliner I can have a sharper look. Um, now I'm gonna use a red uh, lip stain by Sephora in number one to kind of carve out her eyebrows and I'm gonna fill in the eyebrow with that same lip stain. Um, after I fill up the eyebrow with that lip stain, it's a little too bright for my liking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab an eyeshadow by Inglot and I'm going to set uh, the lipstick. Now what I'm going to do is to make it a little bit more ombre, I'm going to grab uh, the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and I'm going to grab the shadow in fetish and uh, set the outer part of the wing of the, eye of the eyebrow so that it looks a little bit darker in the end. Now I'm going to grab the red shade again or the white and I'm going to place that right under the um, eyebrow for a highlight, a very intense highlight. And I'm going to grab the red eyeshadow again and I'm going to go ahead and place that in the inner corner with a MAC 224 blending brush. All the products that I'm using in this video will be on the description box below if you have any questions. Now I'm going to grab uh, the fetish eyeshadow again from the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette and I'm going to grab a tiny little um, shading brush and I'm going to just deepen up her crease uh, on the inner corner after I'm done doing that I'm gonna go ahead and blend some more and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a concealer um, any type of concealer really and I'm gonna go ahead and create a cut crease um, and this is gonna be just uh, easier to do the um, eyeliner on um, I wasn't planning on doing the eyeliner so thick but um, so this part is a little bit pointless if you don't want the eyeliner too thick because the eyeliner is going to cover the whole eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the eyeliner. After I completed the eyeliner, I went ahead and set the black with um, the eyeliner with a black eyeshadow. Any black eyeshadow works, uh, just so that it sets the um, the cream and doesn't smudge or um, move throughout the day. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take uh, NYX glitter liner in silver and I'm gonna just put it right on top of the eyeliner, just a little line to make it more interesting. Um, I'm going to put my fair pair of lashes and some mascara and I'm going to remove the tape and then you'll see that it gives you a really crisp uh, line. Now for the face I'm going to use the Milani um, priming spray and I'm going to just spray the whole face with this and I'm going to go in with another primer by Maybelline uh, and this is a smoothing primer and I'm going to go ahead and distribute that all over the face with my fingers. And I'm gonna use a color corrector in a, in a peachy, kind of orangey uh, shade uh, right under the eyes to counteract all the purples and the blue undertones. Um, after that, I'm gonna go in with the Milani foundation in 02. And I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that all on the face, with face and neck, with a um, foundation brush by e.l.f. Um, after that, to make it a little more airbrush, I'm going to take a beauty sponge by Real Techniques um, and I'm going to bounce that all over the, the skin. Now I'm going to take this really light concealer and I'm going to highlight her under eyes, the bridge of the nose, uh, the cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. 
and I'm gonna blend it out with that same beauty sponge. I'm gonna take my favorite uh, translucent setting powder and this is air spun and I'm gonna take the same beauty sponge and set her under eyes um, everywhere where I put the concealer to really lock it in place uh, and for the rest of the face I'm gonna use the, my favorite Revlon uh, powder and set the rest of the face and I am gonna use a little bit of uh, MAC give me sun to bronzer up a little bit so I can have some definition on the face um, and I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow that I use on the eyes and the eyebrows to um, continue with the whole uh, monochromatic look and put that as a blush. Now it is a little intense so if you do go overboard you can always go back with your um, powder brush and your Revlon uh, powder and go over it to tone it down. Now I'm gonna set this, um, spray the face with the setting spray and while it is wet, I'm going to highlight her cheekbones with an Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette in that shape down there. And really give her a blinding look. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a black eyeliner. This is MAC Smolder. And I'm going to put that on the waterline. And I'm also going to smudge this eyeliner on the, on the eyelashes. And with the pencil brush, I'm going to smudge it and make it all even. Uh, I am going to set this eyeliner with a black eyeshadow. And I'm going to grab a clean blending brush and just blend the edges so it's, not, so it's not too harsh. Add a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. And we are done with the eye look. Now for the lips, I'm going to go back with the same lip stain that we use on the eyebrows and just um, fill her lips in with that and grabbing fetish by the Jeffree Star palettes I'm going to put this eyeshadow on the corners of the mouth to give me a more um, ombre look after that the look is complete I want to say thank you so much for watching again. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.